Every day we eat pizza and pasta. After the rest, used to trust in the flesh, now I lean on the Lord like peas on my team too real. Feel like me and the man that were kicking board than a league of bows full out full. I ain't like a pen right now. Good morning, Vixen Riders. It is Sunday, July 7th, 7.55 in the morning. My hubby and I are out of the hotel room. I'm about to head to the train station to go to the place, baby. Home or the pizza. So here we had pizza and pasta. But now we're gonna have like real pizza. Every day we eat pizza and pasta. God is good. God be with the plane. I mean the train, the conductor, the railroads, the weather, the people, everyone involved. So we all get our destination safely. In Jesus' name. Pillowy soft croissant. So it's not filled with pistachio. Are you in the middle yet? Oh yeah. It's coming. I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Oh, customer service, yeah. Especially because they that. have our room ready. Yeah. Naples is getting a 10 out of 10 so far in this hotel. Our room is ready at 11 o'clock in the morning. When check in is typically around late afternoon on 2. Let's, let's see why it's ready. <laughs> Maybe because they're not like sold out. I think Rome is more popular. That's why right. it will be sold out. Oh, please work. <laughs> Hold it there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, thank you, Jesus. We are now in Naples, also Napoli. So we got off at the train station, which is about eight minutes walking distance, but we had our heavy backpack, so we decided to just Uber. And can you believe they charged us $16 mm. for a three minute drive? Three. But it's but it's all fine. We didn't want to carry our backpacks. But now that we've arrived mm -hmm. here in Naples, mm -hmm. coming from Rome, mm -hmm. look at this hotel, y'all. Um, look, look at, at this. It. So I'm gonna take y'all over here. Look at this sizable. This is a bad bathroom. bathroom. Oh, that sink is nice. That it? sink is nice. A nice little okay. toilet to do your business. You get me? Look at this toilet. We still don't understand why. It's open. It's a half open but shower. I like this already because it looks like it looks perhaps, perhaps. I hope it's more stable. It does looks. look more sturdy, yeah. So, they don't need painting. Got a little painting. Um, also, this should be something. Close this is it. clean. Unlike iron? the other one. No iron. No, they don't do iron too, it looks like. Yeah. But it just, it, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. And then look, look over here. Look at the bed here. The bed wow. is nice and clean. It's like 
we haven't had it. We've never had a hotel where the bed was like centered like this. Open like this. They open. open and then you can kind of see this is what you kind of get at the Westin. I mean, when you buy like a, what's oh, that, that house, the, the house, spiral. spiral. Yeah. And then not only that, we've got three, three, uh, three views of the city. Oh, it's a little market downstairs? Oh, I didn't even notice it opens, honestly. It's, this place has more character than Rome. Mm hmm. So that's number three. That's the first opening. Here's the second opening. And then the third opening. So you get a lot of sunlight with these three. Wow, this is a, we are in the heart of the city. All right, we are finally leaving our hotel. Finally. We just checked into. Finally. I was slowing us up because I was watching Love Island. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see her. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's go off to a popular pizzeria spot called Pizzeria de Michelle. And it has over like 38,000 or 68, actually, let me see. I think it was 60, no, 39,000 reviews. So I'm looking forward to it. It don't look like New York pizza, but we're going to have it. Oh, and for the city is a lie. Look for yourself. Boy, a lot of noise from the cars, the people, the breakdown. My anxiety is on 10 right now. 10, 10. But I'm um, having a matching today. We have ice cube shirts that say today was a good day. Today was a good day. Because you're claiming today's gonna be a good day. And do a quick little prayer that, dear Lord, please protect us as we walk the streets of Naples. And may everyone act accordingly with dignity and respect. And may everyone um, respect the law. <laughs> Keep us safe Way from more. nature. It's like a big New York City. Amen. It's scary out here, y'all. Alright, we made it to the popular, famous pizzeria spot here in Naples. It's Pizzeria, pizzeria de Michelle. And we see that it lives up to a standard of being popular and famous because a whole lot of people outside waiting to get a slice or a pie, whatever they want. Look over there, there are other pizza spots along the street. They are absolutely empty. <laughs> absolutely, they are begging people to come in. They're actually saying, you can eat for free here. Oh, you can down. eat right now. You can eat right now, just <laughs> sit down, but no one wants to eat. They'd rather wait. Yay! Hey. Got that fire. There you go. Thank you. Got the dig right in. Sure. Oh, you're too kind. Thank, Thank you. So, Thank you. Much. so now, let me show you Victory Riders. What our pizza is looking like. Yeah, I'm about to grill this food. This is my margarita, and Dante has a marinara. Don't let it touch. It's just sauce. Ooh. <laughs> I need to go to New Simmons. My car was full. Y'all made my first bite. Well, I may be digged in already. I got a little more. Ah, my car was full. I gotta get, I already know my, I already know my rig. That dough is going. That is my first cheese pizza here in Italy. It's your first cheese? Oh yeah, yeah. Cheese pizza. Yeah. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why you say wow, so. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Baby. Alright. I thought New York had the best pizza. Okay. I was wrong. New York got good pizza. But Naples? Mm. Mm. 
the best for show. New York could never. Among all the pizza meters box, how did you become the pizza school? The number one, yeah. yeah. What's going on, Betty Riders? Back on the screen because we are at fam? another historical, not another, by our first historical landmark here in Naples. So behind me, you're looking at Naples Cathedral. We're gonna take a look inside. So let's go see if we can even get in. That's my baby, y'all. She's guiding the way. She's leading the way. She's telling. She looked. My baby did all the research. That's my baby, and no one can do it. My baby can. There she is. Beautiful. Walking to Plaza de Dante, <laughs> we ran into this spot right here. It has nice little details along the wall. You can tell that it's very old just by like the renovation that they tried to upkeep it. All right, all right, busy riders. I'm all coming right, back right, on the right. screen. Right, it's your boy D -Dude, taking over for the 99 2000. Okay, so I'm coming back, let y'all know what we've been up to because we've been walking for some time now. We just finished seeing Plaza de Dante. Babe, tell the victim riders where we are. Yo, we're at Plaza Dante. There's like a statue right up ahead. There's spenders selling all around here. Even in that cut over there. You gotta see if this is Dante, and if so, what did he do to get this plaza? Dante Alighieri. Ah. Alighieri. Alighieri. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. And also, we walked down a couple of streets, had some like graffiti on it, live music. It was really cute. So, we just finished walking through Plaza de Dante. Small, a small place with a lot inside. That's like my heart. <laughs> That's funny. But now we're heading to another plaza, Piazza Plebiscito. Then five minutes from there, there is a spot called Galleria Umberto One. So those are the two things we're gonna do today. So for Naples, it's really giving city. It's giving city life. The congestion, the noise, the dirtiness, the <laughs> sanitary, or the lack of sanitary. <laughs> Boy, let's just let's, let's, let's check out the vibes. Look at the roads, got the trash all on the roads. <laughs> the people are outside. You gotta. Oh wow, they got a KFC out here in Naples. So yeah, it's just like, it's, it's, it's not a trashy city, but it's just got a lot of trash everywhere. So look at that, Victor Riders. My baby and I walked into Zara That's to use the bathroom. Because my baby Because, no, exit. quick story, there were these dogs chilling on the side. And then as soon as baby I want to walk by, it wants to bark crazy. And immediately that made me want to go pee. I almost peed on myself. I really almost peed on myself. <laughs> Some dogs scared the living pee out of me. Um, so then we came to Zardy's bathroom. And then we exited from a different exit. And now we're in the 
the gallery Umberto one. Hey, I'm gonna call you back. I'm in Naples. We're in Naples, baby. All right, we didn't expect this, but as we're walking to Plaza Pel Visito, we came across the water. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely lush. Got a lone boat. Is anybody even in that boat? Okay, we made it to the last spot of the day, which is one of these small streets that they say you should walk down. There's a lot going on. There's foods, there's shops, different things you can do. So let's just take a look-see. We can probably get um our souvenir here too. Uh, I actually like this one. I like that one as well. It's not like the other ones that we saw earlier, but this mm -hmm. one's just as good. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Alright, Mr. Riders, we're just closing out the day here in Naples, our first full day, an exciting day. Oh my goodness, Naples has so much to offer already, surpassing Rome. We're excited for tomorrow, we're gonna go to Pompeii. So stay tuned. I love you too, and I'll see you tomorrow in Pompeii. <laughs> Good morning, Beauty Riders. Today is a new day. We are heading to Pompeii today. And to head to Pompeii, we're gonna take an hour train ride. And then once we get to Pompeii, we have a nine o'clock ticket to go see an archaeological site. Yo, we're in the streets of Pompeii right now. We just got off the train. We have an 11 minute walk to the archaeological site and we chose to walk so we can see more of the city and so that we can stop at a grocery store get some water and get any food we can get at the grocery store as well we're, we're in Pompeii, Pompeii baby <laughs> so we are walking in y'all this is Pompeii we officially made it inside. Oh my goodness, look at my baby being so adventurous in this anti theater. That's why I say anti theater, because it's like a theater. Oh. This is better than Coliseum. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I know. Panoramic view from Pompeii. So this is what we found at the end. Just more archaeological sites. And this, and that. Victory Riders, new fam. Mm -hmm. This place is never ending. Okay, this is truly an amazing and incredible and awe inspiring and jaw dropping city that was once covered under 20 feet of volcanic ashes. Okay, and so now we're going to walk our butts to the top and get a panoramic view. So, how was your time to come, baby? Beautiful. Absolutely. I love the ruins. Alright, Betsy Riders. That's when I just had lunch. And then we took a 20 minute Uber ride to the castle St. Elmo, where we'll see like a a high-rise view of the city on our way to the castle 
and we'll make it to the top. A quick pro to the Castle St. Elmo is that you get all the way to the top by these steep inclines. And I think it's a pro. I'd rather the inclines over stairs or like a sketchy elevator. Look at this view. It is a beauty. It is a beauty. We got higher in the castle. And there's a bit of water on that end. Look at the beauty. All right, Betty Riders, I'm back. Let's give y'all an update. I mean, my baby just made it back to the hotel. And our day is over real early today. 4.55 in the evening, on a Monday evening. One, we are exhausted. And two, we are still career individuals. So we have to get some work done in our individual careers so that we can afford these trips. <laughs> I just want to thank God for protecting us all throughout the day. We took like four Ubers, two buses, two trains, walk up and down various roads and streets, into into various buildings. And God covered us and protected us and kept us safe. And if that's not a blessing, I don't know what it is because I do not take that for granted to be able to come back home each and every night. Just thank you, Lord. Good morning, Victory Riders. It's a new day. The sun is up. People are outside. We in Napoli. But not for long. It's not tonight on our way to the metro station to get to Florence, baby. It's going to be a whole day in Florence. Three hours later, we made it to Florence, baby. And we thank God for the safe trip, the safe journey. And we thank you for this day we're about to have, because we're going to claim it's going to be a good day here in Florence. On camera to say, made it to the hotel. Check is not till 3. It's 11.44. So we and I are changing in the hotel bathroom. So we can go out for the day. Here's my outfit for today. I have like this nude-ish brown tan color vest with these cream color shorts. I never have them with white sneaks, but I think I'm gonna put on sandals because I want my feet to breathe. I've been walking, walking, and walking. Now we are on our way to a breakfast spot. And baby, when I tell you this number spot, pictures look good, they look great. The rating is 4.6 with 2,348 reviews. And I'm just looking forward to it because your girl is hungry. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm super excited about this spot because when I see certain ingredients on the menu, I'm just like, yes. I saw chia seeds. That is a staple in our household. Like, I love me some chia seeds. Me, your omega threes, okay? And what else did I see on here that like really got me excited? Like, it says their meals are made from fresh organic ingredients. Dang, dang, yeah. Super excited about that. So maybe and I are gonna both order a veggie omelet, no goat cheese, but only goat cheese. And then we're gonna get a side of blue bay pancakes. And I'm gonna get a drink. It's called the Basil Detox. And you know you're gonna need a detox after all that pizza and pasta. So this basil detox has basil, celery, cucumber, apple, lemon, ginger, topped with chia seeds. Get in my belly. I have my basil detox here. And I'm excited to see how it tastes. 
Alright, let me pray over it. Mmm. Mm. It's good, it's actually really refreshing. Really refreshing. As you can see, we clean our plate. It feels so good to eat something other than pizza or pasta. We're back on these streets, and I like these streets better than Napoli, Naples streets. Um, it's quieter, and although there's a lot of people in the street, it's not as loud. Which is so weird, because in Naples there was so many people in the street and it was so loud. But here, there's so many people in the street. People are having their own private conversations. You know, they're speaking in a, I guess, appropriate voice tone. Not to be, you know, overheard. Say I'm 11. Florencia. Today my baby has planned the day. Our first destination is a bridge. So I'm excited to go near the water. Hopefully get a nice fresh breeze. I was like, hey, you need a breeze. When it is, it is so hot. <laughs> no, you're gonna, you gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> my baby's so cute trying to be my My baby trying to be my cameraman so bad. He's like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Victory Riders, our baby and I have been moving along in this hot, hot, beating sun. And we've been drinking, you know, stay hydrated. So with drinking, you gotta use the bathroom often. So my hubby and I already know this, that in the bathrooms here in Europe, you gotta pay like a euro to use the bathroom per person. So we try to get around it by like going to restaurants. And then the restaurant even wanted to charge us a euro. <laughs> We're like, oh man, we can't avoid it. So, yeah, it's a little tip out there. When you're trying to use the bathroom in Europe, you're either going to pay the public bathroom a euro, or if you go to a restaurant, you can still get hit in the head by paying a euro. Man, it ain't brutal out here. That was too small of a threat. They all going to get you. They going to get you. <laughs> All right, Virginia Riders, as we're moving along, we had to stop and notice this wine window right here. Yes, this right here is called a wine window. So as you see here, it says, Muschetta Vino Wine Window. And essentially, what would happen is you would knock on the window and someone would give you a cup, a glass of wine. How about that? But, you know, maybe don't drink, so. No cup of vino for us. You know, aka wine. Right here, you don't believe who that is. It is Dante Alagheri. This guy's hype again. All right, after many steps later, we made it to the cathedral, the Santa Maria Cathedral de Fiona. It's so detailed and majestic. It's like large and wide with amazing details in between yeah they, they did not miss took their time here yeah. we're in Florence baby
call you back. I'm in Florence. Big T Riders. This man right here. This man who's walking so humble. You know? <laughs> yeah, that man right there. <laughs> All right, the humble has gone. <laughs> that man has Hi, took me. us all around Florence today. Okay, Vitty Riders, what is going on? It is like the end of the day now, 7.54. Now tomorrow we're going to Pisa. And then the next day we're going to Bologna. So waking up early and traveling is wearing tearing on your girl plus the heat and walking like 10 miles a day. I'm tired. So how about I eat some dinner? If the food looks good, you'll see what we eat. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning as we head off to Pizza Baby. So with your eyes, we still up on this cute little romantic spot. I'm not gonna talk too much because I wanna spend time with my baby. But well, look how cute is this setup. And he's saying he's a child. <laughs> but he just burned himself on this candle. <laughs> you see, baby, we gotta act like mature, career, individuals. You really burnt yourself? Let me see it, babe. Blistering. No, I don't see it. You don't see the reason? Oh, I mean, it's I think my baby's okay. My baby's okay. Okay. I'm about to say, what? Anyways, bye, anyways. Let's say my baby. I love this man. And <laughs> he keeps in my toes and keeps me laughing. And I put all my eggs in his basket any day. Alright, all the love island cliche quotes. <laughs> Like, look, Victor Rod, so I'm gonna do this. So then here's my Finally, dance. you got so your right. Here's my, here's my, here's my um, Italian dance. So first of all, what you gotta do is you gotta do the, the boom, boom, look, one. So I'm gonna start off, so here, here you go. One, two, one, two, and one, two, one, 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 one. And then go back, one, two, and then go boom. Nah, that's not it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, he'll, he'll come back to you guys. Alright, we're signing off. It's late, we tired, we're heading back to the hotel. So, first off, uh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord. Keeping us safe all throughout the night. And now allowing us to be outside here in Florence. But we're not here for long, because today is going to be a day in Pisa. But we're heading to get breakfast now at the same spot we had breakfast yesterday because we absolutely loved it. So we just finished ordering. I got a new drink today. Yesterday I got like a green drink. They got an orange drink. So it has oranges. No. Yeah. It has carrots, mango, orange, ginger, lemon, and mango. So I decided to have that because I just need all the veggies and fruits that I can get. And then my baby and I got veggie omelet again today. We asked for extra veggies. Avocado on the side, and we got a banana walnut pancake with hash browns. We be eating because we be walking like ten miles a day. Baby, you don't know the song. Oh yeah, got some coffee for you. We be here. We ain't never leaving. All right, my bronzata arrives. <laughs> so my body misses receiving my nutrients from juicing. I do three types of juices. On Sunday or Friday or Saturday, any of those days, for the whole week. Uh, orange juice in the morning, green juice for lunch, and a uh, beet juice for dinner. Thank you. Then we have the side of avocado. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Fine, thank you. Amen. Have you done the train? I'm a train of pizza. Off we go. Oh, we are just getting off our stop now. And we got 
a six minute walk to the Leaning Tower. So we made it to the landmarks. First you will see is the Duomo, which means cathedral. And then if you look further down, you see the Leaning Tower just right there. And to the rest, used to trust in the flesh, now I lean on the Lord like peas on my team too real. Feel like me and the man that were kicking board de la Liga. Alright, Vicky Riders, we are still here at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. There you go. And Dante and I, Dante and I just took like 101 photos and videos. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm show you guys some pictures that we took right now. Eating good over here, the work on the issue is stuck. See the baby say on the daily now, see the harvest coming in from a fuck. Not a silent mode, all the guys on go like speed and Yeah, we had a good time here. I want the sun, your girl was baking. The thing is, we purchased tickets to before we got here, not knowing that anyone can just literally walk up and down and take pictures of the Leaning Tower Pizza. But we purchased tickets thinking just to see it, you have to take you have to have tickets. But no, to see it is free and to go inside is a fee. What a man, 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 what a Little to do, at least for us, that we got interest. Only the leading tower we got interest, but there were other landmarks there, like there was a castle and museums. But not the nice thing wasn't really that. So now we're just waiting for the train. We should arrive any minute now. Everyone's waiting, as you can see behind me. And we're gonna have like a chill night back in Florence, have some dinner, walk around. Enjoy the weather, enjoy the vibes, enjoy the people, and here comes our thing. Yo, we're at Osteria, Castella, and this is a spot that we saw on our very first day here. And immediately when we saw it, it was like, hmm, we should come back and check this place out. We're in Alner, waiting for us. Osteria, Castella, it's an old shake, it's all right now. Yeah, it's quite a line. Did they show the line? Yeah, yeah, quite a line. So we finally made it in and we're on this cute little table. How cute! For him or yes, to him. share? Okay. And raviolo. Ooh, thank you. Look at my raviolo. That looks really good. Thank you. I'm gonna give it a solid. Six, seven out of ten, maybe. Yeah, I'm giving it That's a seven. It, it, it did taste a little fresh. It didn't, it didn't taste like box pasta, but it wasn't extraordinary. It wasn't yeah mouth watering. It wasn't jaw dropping. <laughs> and as for me, I had this big old squared ravioli on my plate, and it's exactly what she explained to me. So I was like really like anticipating it. No surprise. Big ravioli with tails in the middle. And like red sauce and cheese on top. I think I got that after. And somehow you didn't offer me a single bite. Because I knew you didn't want the cheese. You could have moved the cheese. <laughs> Babe, I went into your pasta and took my own scoop. You could have came into mine. Come on, cross, me. Anyways, I give mine an eight. A solid eight. I wouldn't have it again, but I enjoyed it. I just came on the camera to say God is good. We had an amazing day today. We had an amazing past couple days, honestly. Um, each city, each day is just. We are really my boy to experience what happened. Even though we're tired and the food may not be out all that great. Like everything in between is amazing. 
Everything in between is amazing. Right now, I'm maybe not. I'll just relax on a beach. I mean, wow, peach. Relax at, on a bridge. And kind of just watching the sunset. Well, the sun has set already, actually. But we're just watching the, the skies change. The sky change color. Good morning, Vitsu Riders. It is a new day. My hubby and I are outside. Okay, good morning, Victory Riders. It's a new day. I knew it, you know. It's your boy Donnie Green Prince coming all the way from Florence. You hear me? You get me? So we're on our way to Rusa yet again. This will be our third, third time. time. Check on them, baby. Let me do that fit check. Okay. Okay, black and gold on them. Look at it, black and gold with the white forces. Not the white forces. And my hubby got the black and gold. Word is fine. With the white forces. <laughs> It's a ride. Word is fun. You get me. <laughs> God is good, people. God is good. God is good, man. So before we start today, let's ask God to protect us and everything that we do. Trains we walk into and ride on. And the roads we walk on. The buildings we walk into. Yep. And God cover us and everything we do. May God cover you and whatever you're doing today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now let the day begin. Let's go. Let's try it. That's a lot of food. French toast pancakes. That's me. Thank you. Back with the veggie omelet. My hubby as well got the veggie omelet. Oh, babe, I put that right there for you. And then we got a blueberry pancake. So good. Off we go to Bologna for the day. The day trip to Bologna starts now. We're in Bologna, baby. So we made it to the city center. This is the Piazza del Nutuno. And then if you look over there, that is the clock tower. There's this fountain guy. All right, Betsy Riders, it has not even been 30 minutes since we've touched down in Bologna. And I am absolutely cooked. This sun is cooking me. It's, it's really so hot. It's not even an exaggerating hot. You know how people exaggerate, exaggerate how hot it is? No, 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 no. I'm not exaggerating. I promise you, I'm not exaggerating. up on top and like view the city at a panoramic 360 view okay so before we sit down have some dinner just want to stop by the dorma one last time it's the cathedral so we found a restaurant and we love a restaurant where there's a show in the front of them home making the pasta. But it shows that the pasta is fresh. And we like that. Me and baby both got the same thing. We love some red sauce pasta. Here we go. Mmm. Not bad? Mmm. -hmm. You can tell these noodles are lady just made these mm -hmm. It was just less than nice in the worm. Mm -hmm. What is the pasta? Oh, Delicious. The best. Is it good? We yes. love it. Yeah. Best, yes. Do you miss anything? Maybe no. Some no. Some cheese or... Oh, no. Oh, no this is perfect. We're okay. vegan, so this yes. is perfect. Well, not vegan, but we don't dairy. Yeah. Okay. So this thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they occasionally do. Mm -hmm. I need to stop eating dairy, honestly. All right, all right. 
our time in Bologna is coming to an end. We just finished having Din Din. And now we are heading to the bus station. Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. All right, but two riders, that is a wrap for today. We are back at the Bologna Central Station. As you see, as for us, we're going to back to Florence and straight to the hotel room to rest. Dante has meetings, and I'm gonna work until he's out those meetings. And yeah. So hot and tired, so hot and tired. Every day I'm hot and tired. But it's been a great experience nonetheless, yo. I love it, you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow as we head to Milan, baby. See you then.